In a world where a lot of people mistakenly assume that their Facebook business page is actually their Facebook business account and many people don't even understand what is the difference between boosting a small post on Instagram versus setting up a proper lead generation system using the meta marketing suite and a lot of people are making mistakes uh, on their Facebook business accounts getting their ads blocked or their, even their ad accounts banned and walking away from this beautiful marketing activity with the assumption that okay Facebook is not going to work for me. Today I want to dispel all the doubts and introduce you to the biggest business database that mankind has ever known. Yes that's right the 60 crore people from India are constantly swiping left and right on Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp and Facebook Messenger today accounts for the biggest internet economy in the history of mankind and if you're not tapping into it correctly then you're losing out on lakhs and crores of rupees and I'm going to be walking you through how to do the setup in a proper fashion so that you can get to a 10 lakh rupee income within 12 months or less. Welcome to this video my name is Dr. Rajat Sinha and I'm not your coach, your super coach or any kind of internet marketer or coach of coaches or anything like that. My, I'm a medical doctor and my story starts when I started using Facebook ads for my part-time networking business which was into electronic products back in 2017. That's when I understood the power of utilizing paid advertising especially the meta marketing suite and I was able to turn 15 years of consistent failure into overnight success. In the lockdown I started teaching my model to commission sellers which is insurance agents, network marketers and property brokers all around the country and today uh, Startup Frat and Startup Frat Technology Services which is my agency has uh, achieved pole position in helping commission sellers run ads profitably on Facebook Business Suite. More important than profitably is consistently. Why is that? Because commission sellers which is the segment that I target which is my uh, which is network marketers, health coaches, uh, property brokers, finance, uh, financial product sellers, insurance agents, etc. is actually is a very restricted category on Facebook which means if you run ads about make money opportunities or passive income or something like that very likely to get banned. Uh, if you are doing any kind of networking scheme or MLM kind of activity on Facebook absolutely gonna get banned and real estate and property by itself is a very restricted category on Facebook business suite which you can see as soon as you log into the ad algorithm. All right. In spite of this over the last four and a half years we've had uh, almost 100% success with people's ads going live successfully getting good leads and their ad accounts not getting banned or their ads not getting restricted. All right, So we have almost a close to 100% success rate and that has given us the understanding of the meta marketing suite to a, to a degree which very few people are able to understand. Now most importantly in this particular video I'll be talking to you about the setup. Just like when you set up a big building the foundation has to be very very strong. Similarly how what is the meta marketing suite? How do you set up the Facebook business suite? How do you set up all your different properties inside the Facebook business suite? How do you set it up in a fashion where Facebook the meta marketing corporation recognizes you as a legal ethical moral business and a valuable partner. Yes Facebook is looking for valuable partners which is people like you who are advertisers on the algorithm but they have certain policies, they have certain procedures that many people don't know and even Facebook themselves don't provide clear training around it and the reason very simply is because Facebook themselves is under a lot of attack from different different people. People are using Facebook for elect election campaigns and lots of things are going on so they don't want any controversy so the training around the Facebook business suite itself is is not very easy to come by very few people are providing that even Facebook itself does not provide any clear guidelines around that however working with some of the best people in the world I was able to understand how to use the Facebook business suite in a proper fashion and that is how we were able to get this success and and get over 1100 student studies over 140 plus lakhpatis and 10 plus crore patis. Uh, in fact even growing our own business to over 3 crore uh, annual revenue per, per year. All right. So let's get started. I'm going to be talking to you about how to set up the foundation of the meta marketing suite Facebook business suite and in what fashion can you set it up so that Facebook treats you like a valuable partner. All right. At a very advanced stage you can even apply to Facebook and get uh, get partnership status, get approved status and even get a green tick on your business account which is very different from a blue tick on your business page. Actually your business page or a blue tick on your business page doesn't mean very much. It doesn't guarantee that you will get leads or sales but if you have a, a good relationship with the Facebook meta marketing suite with the Facebook as a corporation then you are almost guaranteed to be able to beat your competition and really skyrocket to success. All right. Let's get cracking. Now uh, I've drawn a box on this whiteboard and this box basically represents the entire ecosystem the way you're going to set it 
and uh, there are certain documentations etc also that you're supposed to carry out to make sure that you're doing that that you're registered with uh, with the meta marketing corporation in a very good format in a proper legit format all right now you can see over here that your fbp or your facebook business page is a little bullet item i've written on this whiteboard which basically means that your facebook business page is not a very big thing as people say, oh, I have a business page on Facebook. It doesn't mean much. It is just a property, it's just a trade name that you can have multiple business pages with any ad, with any business account. But having a business page doesn't mean anything in, in the overall scheme of the game. So what is this business account? Uh, you can set up a free business account with Facebook, with Facebook or the Meta Marketing Corporation. Uh, if you do it, the right way to do it is with a domain linked email address. Uh, so while you log into Facebook, please do it on a desktop or a laptop. And then uh, what you can do is instead of, uh, you'll be setting it up with your own personal ID, but when you set it up, it's gonna ask you for a business email. So before you go to set up a business account with Facebook, very, very important that you should generate a business email. The way you do it is buy a domain from GoDaddy. And then ideally what I would like you to do is do not set up your email with GoDaddy, but once you buy your domain with GoDaddy, go to Google or G Suite and set up a G Suite email address. That is the one that works the best. So G Suite email address will cost you roughly about 150 rupees per month. Okay, like my personal email ID is rajat.sinai at gmail.com, but my business email ID is rajat at the rate of startupfrat.com. So that domain name is owned by me, startupfrat.com, and then I have, I'm paying G Suite uh, for rajat at the rate of startupfrat.com. You can have yourname.com or dot, dot co dot in or dot in whatever and you can have connect at the rate of yourname.com as the email address so it cannot be a gmail id or yahoo id or something it will not work well that way okay so there is a little bit of spend involved with buying this email address and a domain linked email address however to actually set up the facebook business account facebook doesn't charge any fees so you go ahead and and you can just uh, go ahead uh, to the meta marketing suite and set up your Facebook business account. Now at this point, you are logged into Facebook as your personal, as your personal ID, your personal profile. Perfect. Okay. However, when you log in, you will see different, different sections inside the business account. And one of the biggest sections is people. Then you will have assets. Uh, and the assets are, uh, you can set up a Facebook business page. You can set up an Instagram business page. You can set up a, a Facebook messenger with each of these pages. You can have a, uh, uh, a WhatsApp business account. You can have your bots or chat bots that are linked to your WhatsApp business account or to your Facebook business page where you can do some automated replies to your, uh, to your uh, leads. You can have a pixel. What is a pixel? It's a tracking code. Tomorrow, if you have a website or a landing page or something outside the Facebook environment where your leads are going to be watching your videos, signing it up for, for your webinar or downloading some stuff from your website or something like that, then this pixel is going to track all their activity and feed it back into the algorithm. So Facebook can over a period of time become better and better at figuring out who are your best clients and things like that. Okay. So that's your pixel. Then you'll be creating an ad account inside the algorithm, which is basically an account where your, your, uh, your payments and your ads and your ad activity will be lodged. So that's called an ad account. And you will be linking your credit card, debit card to the business account. So that's where you have payment methods. And you can also create an app within the business account if you choose to later do marketing via some apps and things like that, okay? So these are the different assets that you have inside the business account. Facebook business page is one of the little variables. You can have multiple business pages connected. You have an Instagram page. You can also have multiple Instagram pages connected. Uh, you can have multiple ad accounts. You can have multiple pixels. You can have WhatsApp business accounts over here. You can have bots created over here through ManyChat or your WhatsApp bots or something like that. You can have pixels over here and you can have uh, multiple apps and you can have payment methods like credit card, debit card, UPI. All of this can be inside your one account. Okay, very, very important that, uh, <clears throat> that uh, all of these different ID, uh, properties that you have inside a business account have ID numbers. So this could be an 11 digit ID number, 13 digit ID number or whatever. Everything inside over here, you may know it like my business page. I have two business pages. One is called Dr. Rajat Sinha. That's with my own name. I've created a business page. And with my company name, there's a business page which is called Startup Frat. However, each of these business pages has a long numerical ID. So make sure you save all the numerical IDs that you have over here. You save all these IDs 
in one place on an Excel sheet or something because in case you want to have any clarification, you want to get any chat help from Facebook, the first thing they're going to ask you is what is the page ID, what is the ad account ID, what is the pixel ID. So you want to write down all these numerical IDs ranging from 11 to 15 digit IDs in one place. Okay, uh, okay so that is all your assets. Uh, then you will have people. If you're running a company, if you have a co-founder, make sure your co-founder is also a co-admin of your business account. If you have some employees who are going to be doing your marketing, make sure that they are added to your business account, not as admins, but as operators where you can give them restricted rights to run your ads and things like that. Okay, so all of that you will have people. So there are multiple people always managing a business account. Okay, now how do you set up the business account? The very basics, all of this stuff is a little more advanced. You can just check it further. But most important thing that I want to communicate by the, by the means of this video is people make a big mistake in the business account setup and verification. What is setup and verification? Right below on the left, I have written business information. Business information. Over here comes your address, phone number, and your actual name, your own personal name, okay? And also your business name. So if you're like me, when I first started marketing on Facebook, I did not have a business license. And if you are a network marketer or a commission seller or insurance agent, the company doesn't really encourage you to get a license. However, I would highly encourage you that uh, go ahead and apply for a MSME Udyog Aadhaar license in your own personal name. If you have no other business license, the easiest and best business license to get is an MSME Udyog Aadhaar license which you can apply on the Udyog Aadhaar website. Within half an hour, you can download a license for free. Okay, it's entirely free. So just check it out. And what you want to do is, you want to put in your real physical address as it appears on your Aadhaar card. You want to put in your phone number, which, which is linked to your Aadhaar. And you want to put in your name. Make sure that the name on your Aadhaar card and the name on your Facebook personal profile. A lot of people have a mismatch in the name. They may be having a different spelling on the Aadhaar card. They may be having a different name on their Facebook personal profile, which is fine. But now your personal profile is starting to get involved with your overall business setup over here. So in case of any kind of verification and stuff, if there is a mismatch in name between your Aadhaar card and your personal profile, at the way it appears over there, there's going to be a problem. Okay, so make sure that you clean all of that stuff out, rename your personal profile so that it matches your Aadhaar card uh, properly, uh, you know, alphabet by alphabet. And then once you have all of this business information entered over there, next thing you're going to do is, you're going to do, first thing you're going to do is a personal verification. They may ask you to upload your Aadhaar card or something like a photo ID over there. And it takes two to three days to do a personal verification, which is, yes, I am this guy. This is my Facebook personal profile. Please check this, my personal profile. And this is my Aadhaar card. So I'm going to be operating this uh, business account. And, and they, they're going to ask your Aadhaar card. If you have a co-admin like your partner, they may ask for their Aadhaar card also. Okay. So you got to submit that. Next, you want to have a partner verification over there. Partner verification means you, you will have ideally best to have a partner. And if you don't have a partner then or a co-founder, then definitely have your spouse as the co-owner of this business account. Very important. And definitely make sure that they also have their photo ID verified and everything. Okay. Make sure they also have the exact same spelling on their personal Facebook profile as they have on their Aadhaar card and all of that is going to be cross-matched. Okay. So that is a partner verification. The third thing you want to do is a two-factor authentication. What's a two-factor authentication? They're going to say, okay, you as your personal web in your personal profile you've been just managing it the way you want it's, it's not a big deal however if you want to manage a business account with that profile then they encourage that you have a two-factor authentication that means you connect your phone number so that you can get otps from facebook while logging in and things like that okay why is facebook doing all of this stuff in a business account when they never actually did so much of verification for a personal account is because in your personal account your reach is limited you have a certain amount of social circle people or your friends family etc who are connected to your personal account and any post you make, et cetera, goes not more than two or three, 300 people at a time, okay? Uh, however, with a business account, your reach is insane, okay? It says over here, audiences. Audiences is nothing but a Facebook database. And the Facebook database in India itself is about 60 crore people. That means if you make a post on your business page and you pay Facebook 100, 200 rupees, you can reach any person in any corner of India with that particular message or ad or video or whatever it is, okay? So your reach with a business account is all corners of India and your potential reach is roughly 60 crore people. 
So if a spammer or scammer gets hold of a business account, then they can really cause a lot of damage, okay? And Facebook doesn't want any of that. So they are gonna make sure that you have your personal verification, partner verification, your both your accounts, you and your partner, your personal profile should be two-factor switched on, which means in case there is anything, they'll send you an OTP to log in. And uh, very, very important, 30 to 60 days after you have set up your Facebook business account, this whole big box, 30 to 60 days after you set up your Facebook business account, you want to submit your MSME license, which you have generated to these fellows. And once you submit your MSME license to these fellows, then, then they are going to call you a verified business, which is they know who you are, they know what your business is, they know your phone number, <laughs> they know everything about you, they know where you reside, and they you have uploaded your Aadhaar card, it's all 100% legit. And within about 30 to 60 days, you can get a full personal verification of this whole entire business account. And once you're able to do that, man, I can tell you, this is better than owning a crore rupee property that is paying you rental. It's better than owning a patent to anything. It's better than owning any kind of royalty income. It's even more powerful than building a network marketing network or an insurance network or even having a bunch of mutual fund sales paying you SIPs every month. Because with this particular asset, you can go from zero to one crore rupees a month, two crore rupees a month, three crore rupees a month in a matter of two or three years. Okay, that is the scale to which you can really build uh, build build your business through a Facebook business suite. Even if you do not currently own a business, and even if you are selling insurance in your part time or doing some networking or health products in your part time, you can just go crazy with a business account. Just to give you a perspective, um, in my own networking business, after more than 10 years of running my networking business, I'd never exceeded more than probably 15,000 rupees a month in my part-time income. And I always thought, oh, this is a good part-time business where it's gonna generate some free money for me on the side. But as soon as I understood the Facebook business environment, in 2017, I started running Facebook ads. And on a single weekend, I was able to make uh, close to 25 lakh rupees of company sales on a single weekend without the use of friends, family references, just by running ads. Okay, so <laughs> it's pretty insane when it comes to scalability. And uh, you want to make sure that you have all of your verifications. You want to make sure that, first of all, please don't believe that if you have a Facebook business page or Instagram business page, or if you're making some posts on Instagram and boosting them with 300 rupees and getting some people to contact you, that is not a sustainable lead generation machine. A sustainable lead generation machine is when you have monthly budgets attached to Facebook, which means you can just pay per day, that is entirely fine. You can start with as less as 100, 150 rupees per day, but even 100, 150 rupees per day or a four to 5,000 rupee budget on Facebook ads for the month can generate you 15, 20,000 rupees of income in the first month itself. Okay, and then you can scale it as you go along. Uh, today, it is not uncommon to, for people to make four times of the money invested in ads as their online revenue. So if you are, even if you're investing maybe a lakh or two lakh rupees a month on Facebook ads at a scaled up level, eight to 10 lakh rupees of income is not uncommon. There are hundreds of people doing this and you will see all their results because they'll be running ads to you, I'm sure. Okay, so this is the this is what you call a Facebook business account. Most importantly, you need, need to have your information in there, need to have a, a business license that you've submitted. You need to have verified yourself. You need to have a partner, definitely need to have a partner. If you don't have a business partner, you need to have your spouse, you need to submit their uh, Aadhaar verification and all of that. You need to have two-factor authentication set up. You need to have them as co-owners of your business account. You need to have your employees or freelancers over there with limited access so that they can run your ads. You need to build out your databases all over India, in your state, in your city, based on interest, et cetera, et cetera. You can have crores of people in your audiences or your target market. And then you can set up all of these different properties, which is your Facebook business page, Instagram business page, your pixel, your data sets, your uh, bots, WhatsApp business accounts, messenger accounts, ad accounts, and all of this good stuff. That is the entire machinery that is going to help you uh, really, really succeed, okay? If this interests you and you are uh, looking forward to understanding how to actually put all of this stuff together and go to market and get to about 50,000 to a one lakh rupee per month income within a short matter of time, within 15 to 30 days, then please uh, meet me live. Uh, go over to startupfrat.club slash webinar and you will be able to meet me and I'll be able to walk you through all of that, okay? I look forward to meeting you. Thank you so much for watching this video and uh, please do subscribe to our channel and share this video with somebody who might need it. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.